Love it or loathe it, auto-tune or pitch correction is a staple of modern music production. Whether used sparingly to tighten up an otherwise great vocal performance or cranked up to create a more robotic sound, knowing how to apply the effect to your projects is something you're going to want to get the hang of. In GarageBand for iOS, adding pitch correction to your vocal tracks is a fairly straightforward process. Here's how it works. The first thing you need to do before adding pitch correction, or extreme tuning, as Apple call it here, is to identify the key of the project you're working on. If you don't set the project key correctly, the pitch correction will attempt to correct to the wrong note and end up sounding a bit weird. If you're not sure how to find the key of your project, I'll link a few online tools in the description below that can help. I personally go by ear usually and try to identify the tonic note or the first note in the scale and go from there. So for example, in this project, if I bring up a touch keyboard instrument, I can hunt around until I find a note that sounds just about right anywhere in the song. C is the tonic note here, so the project is in the key of C. To find out if it's C major or C minor, I need to play the note a major third up from C and see if it fits with the song too. Which it does, so the project is in C major. To change the key signature of your project, tap on the cog icon in the top right of your screen and tap on key signature. GarageBand defaults to C major, but you can change the key of your song and whether it's major or minor here. Having the follow song key option toggled on will change any touch instrument recordings in your project to the key that you define above. Bear in mind that this won't affect any real audio recordings, so best to identify and change the key of your project before recording anything. With that out the way, you can either record vocals with pitch correction applied to them, or apply the effect to your recording after the fact. In this project, I have two vocal tracks recorded, a main vocal and a falsetto double of the main vocal. Here's what the dry main vocal sounds like. You need a change, a different view. Turn the same old into new. If I open the audio recorder settings, several of these vocal presets have a pitch correction control present. If I turn off the rest of these controls and then add a little pitch correction to the vocal, you can hear how that subtly affects it. You need a change, a different view. Turn the same old into new. And if I crank it right up, you can hear the more dramatic effect added. You need a change, a different view. Turn the same old into new. I'll probably want to keep the pitch correction dialed back a bit on this main vocal. On the falsetto doubled vocal though, I do want a slightly more dramatic effect. Need a change, a different view. Turn the same old into new. Here's how they sound together with other effects added. You need a change, a different view. Turn the same old.
world into new You need a change, a different view Turn the same old into new You need a change, a different view So there you have it, that's how to get the most from GarageBand's built-in auto-tune slash pitch correction slash extreme tuning. Bear in mind that you don't have a huge amount of control over how the pitch correction sounds here, so feel free to experiment, especially if you want to use it in different genres. I did contemplate rapping in this video to show how GarageBand's pitch correction deals with that type of performance, but decided against it in the end. Believe me, that was the correct choice. Do you use GarageBand's extreme tuning in your projects, or do you know of any apps that do it better? As always, I'd love for you to share your thoughts below. If you're just getting started with GarageBand for iOS or just want a refresh on the basics, you can download my beginner's guide Getting Started with GarageBand absolutely free. I'll put a link to that down in the description box below. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.